Hello, now you might be wondering why I am in this big echoey room in front of this piano and that's because today we're going to check out some of my favourite Quest 2 pass-through experiences. These are mixed reality experiences that combine both the real world and the digital world to create something quite unique and exciting. And we're going to start the video today by checking out VRTuous. This is a mixed reality app that teaches you how to play the piano. Now I'm a complete beginner when it comes to the piano, so we'll see how well it teaches me to play some classical music. So in this video, we'll check out Beatrice as well as some of my other favorite mixed reality apps for the Quest 2. Now remember, if you like the video, to give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, and this content is your kind of thing, you like what you see, then you might also consider subscribing. This first app is brilliant. It really shows what mixed reality can do beyond just gaming, how it can be used to learn new skills. The Archerous overlays a set of virtual keys onto your piano. You then choose a song to play and you'll see the notes fall down a bit like Tetris blocks onto their respective keys. Then when the notes hit their keys, you hold down the key and playing the piano has never really been so simple. Well, kind of, it's still really hard to keep pace with the music and use both hands, but you can slow down the music to a crawl for beginners like me, and then just gradually increase the speed as you get better. And get better you will. I really felt myself improving with each playthrough. The keys can be adjusted to fit the length of your piano, and you can fine tune the positioning of the virtual keys along the X, Y, and Z axes to get the fit just right. Now this part can be a bit of a pain, it can be a bit fiddly to set up, but it's well worth getting it just right. Now VRTuous comes with its own set of music, but you can upload and play your own midis too. Like I said, I really enjoyed learning the piano this way, I much preferred it any day over using sheet music. And I think this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to using mixed reality in learning new skills like learning to play an instrument. I enjoy dungeon crawling games and RPGs really, anything involving building or questing through a dungeon grabs my interest, be it video game or board game. So this next one grabbed my interest straight away. It's called Dungeon Maker and allows you to do just that, build your own dungeon complete with quests, traps and monsters. So here I am playing it with my son who is watching the action on a screen. Now Dungeon Maker is pretty simple at the moment. Quests are quite basic and involve grabbing a piece of treasure or a key, and there is currently only one type of skeleton bad guy. But there's still enough here to provide a decent amount of entertainment, and setting up your own dungeon is really quite easy, it's just drag and drop. It also has some cool features like the ability to occlude parts of the environment like you can see here to hide traps, and the ability to also use hand tracking. It's a really great experience even in this early stage and has massive potential. I already spent hours meticulously placing the small set of assets available around the room to my liking. I can only imagine how awesome it's going to be if you had hundreds of items and monsters to play with, as well as the ability to build more complex quests. So I really can't wait to see where this one goes, but at the moment it's showing heaps of promise and it's still a fun little experience. Transcend XR is the name of our next app. It's a real simple but neat little app that allows you to pull images from your web browser and place them around your home in pass-through mode. It not only feels pretty cool to pull images from the web and straight into your home, but could also be really useful for things like mind maps or creating your very own memory space. Another use could be to preview how a picture or poster would look hanging on your wall. With Transcend XR, you could easily change the location of whatever image you wanted to plaster on your wall and see how it looked before committing to hanging it. At the moment, you can only use one web browser. Hopefully, future updates will give us the option to use more than one, which will increase its value as a productivity tool. But still a nice little tool even at this early stage and very much worth the small price that you pay in my opinion. Next up is Blast On. Now this is a game you'll find in the official Quest store. And if you've never heard of Blast On, it's a one versus one multiplayer arena game with weapons and shields that spawn nearby, and you have to use these to smite your opponent. 
whilst dodging and blocking any incoming fire yourself. Now of course this is a video about games and apps with mixed reality pass through modes and Blast On does have its own mixed reality pass through mode that when switched on makes your environment look a bit trippy with these neon colours and weird blacks. Groovy. So this is one of my favourite multiplayer games on the Quest and I've actually included it in my top 10 Quest games list and it's not just me, take a look at the scores. This game is definitely well loved and with this pass through mode it just enhances what is already a fantastic game by opening up your view of the external environment while you play. Finally there's Crazy Kung Fu. Now much like Blast On it's a game played in one spot but the only guns you'll be using in this game are your arms. Just watch out for the guns, they'll get you. And you guessed it, it has a pass through mode too. It makes the virtual environment disappear so you can see everything around you whilst honing your kung fu skills. Now not only does the pass through make this game look really cool to have this spinning training post in the middle of your house, but it's also really handy in a game like this. It means you're more aware of your environment so that you can avoid hitting people with your flying fists of fury if they accidentally walk through your play space. Our next app is called Measure. There are two of these, there's Measure without the exclamation mark and Measure with the exclamation mark. So it's pretty straightforward, it's probably what you would imagine this app would do, it measures things in pass-through mixed reality. Now I know what you're thinking, this might not be the most exciting mixed reality app and you might be wondering why I have it here in this list. It's because I think it points to a massive amount of potential. It shows what we'll be doing in mixed reality in the future. So using our mixed reality devices not only to measure things, for example measuring where to cut on a piece of timber, but I think we'll be using it for other tasks. For example it might be used to check if something is completely level, or maybe it could be used to measure and cut a specific angle. So in that sense these actually get me really excited. And the first one we're looking at here, this is measure without the exclamation mark, and I like this one because that yellow dot is just on the outside of the controller, you press the trigger, drag it across, press the trigger again to see how long something is. Now I did want to see how accurate it was, I got a tape measure, set it to 30 centimeters, and measured using this app. And it seemed to be pretty accurate. Now I'm not sure that it's actually millimeter perfect, but it certainly seemed to get it down to the centimeter. And when I tried the other app, this is measure with the exclamation mark, the dot was actually on the inside of the controller, which I didn't prefer as much. I preferred it on the outside, like in the previous app. But having said that, it did have other metrics there, and it did go to decimal places, which was a nice touch. So each of these apps have their pros and cons, really. And again, I tested this app using the tape measure, and it was fairly accurate, just like the other one. So yeah, these are both really useful little apps, and I think it really points to how we'll be using mixed reality in the future to help us, not only with measuring, but with other tasks. And that has me really excited. Contour is our next app, and it's another handy app that can be used to transfer images to surfaces. So with Contour, you have this digital image, you have a selection in the app itself, or you can upload your own. This is an experimental feature, I haven't tried it myself, but according to the dev, you can upload your own image. So I'm using a preset image, this flower here. Then once you've got that, you transfer it to a surface. Now I'm transferring it to this piece of paper here on the desk, but you can transfer it to a wall or any really flat surface that you like. Then once that's done, you can resize the picture and rotate it in whatever direction you'd like. Now I've resized it and I'm going to put it on this piece of paper here because I'm going to attempt to draw this image on this A4 piece of paper. Now bear in mind it usually works better with larger surfaces, say like an A3 piece of paper or drawing on the wall or a chalkboard, something like that. So this isn't the best test of it, but I thought I would give it a try. Now I've also changed the colour of the image so that it's easier to see on the white paper background. Now it isn't the best experience because the Quest cameras are really limited, they offer this really warped, low definition, black and white grainy view. But it still works and it shows massive potential. I think if you were using a better device with higher quality external cameras, this would work fantastically well. But as it is, even with my lack of artistic skill, 
and it looks okay. I mean, I've only drawn part of the plant, but for a software designed to draw outlines, I think I've not done a bad job considering I'm not a very artistic person and I am using these low definition grainy black and white cameras with a small sheet of A4. I think if I was using a bigger sheet of paper or drawing the outline on the wall, it would have looked even better. This is Gravity Lab, available through the official Quest store. It's a physics-based puzzle game where you have to build various contraptions to get the balls from point A to point B. It allows you to engineer many different solutions to the same puzzle and has three difficulty options to make it as challenging or as easy as you want. It also has a great pass-through mode too. It's really quite cool to see these crazy contraptions filling your home and the dropped balls rolling across your floor. It made me feel a bit like a mad scientist working on a machine in my own living room. There's also this next feature which is absolutely brilliant with pass-through mode. It allows you to miniaturize the machines. So you can work on the same puzzles but in a cool miniature version whilst, for example, sitting at your desk. Another game you can play at your desk is Cubism. It's another puzzle game where you have to fit blocks into containers of different shapes. So piece the blocks together to make the shape and complete the puzzle. So it's a simple but really fun game, quite challenging too, and also quite relaxing. It has a pass-through mode as well, which I actually prefer over the plain virtual environments that come with the game, so I always make sure I switch on pass-through whenever I'm playing this one. Now just like Gravity Labs, this was also great to play in pass-through while sitting at your desk or on the couch. Now last but not least is Moon VR Video. It allows you to watch video content stored on your headset or streamed from the computer. The option to stream content from the computer is free as of today, the 1st of June 2022, but will be paid at some point. And the pass-through mode is just fantastic with this, but first I want to talk about the video player itself. The video player itself is very intuitive and the quality of the video playback is smooth and crisp, especially on the highest quality settings. So this video player will not only allow you to watch videos via your headset in great quality, but with pass-through mode enabled, you can watch your favorite videos in the big screen on your headset while being aware of your environment, which is so useful. For example, here you can see I'm snacking on some cookies while enjoying a movie. And that's easy to do with pass-through mode enabled. And beyond that, I find it just really nice to be able to watch a movie on the virtual big screen whilst also just being aware of what's going on around you. It's kind of like you get best of both worlds in a way. And so that's why this one makes my top list of pass-through experiences because I think it's one of the best ways to watch videos in your headset. So that's it for part one of this video. I will have a part two. There are plenty more pass-through experiences that I can highly recommend and I'll be covering those in part two. So if you have liked today's video, make sure you stick around for the next part. Well, I'll be covering more pass-through experiences, including some experiences that make use of your entire play area. And in fact, you can map your whole house to them. So potentially play a VR game using the pass-through features around your entire house. It's really cool stuff. So what did you think of those apps and games? I know mixed reality has a bit of a long way to go, especially when it comes to the Quest 2 with those grainy, low definition black and white cameras. But I think you can at least see the potential here with what can be done. And it makes me really excited for the upcoming Project Cambria headset, which will have high definition color cameras to allow for much better mixed reality experiences, as well as future headsets like the Apple headset that's also rumored to be coming out quite soon and promises to also deliver some pretty good mixed reality experiences. So I think these pass through mixed reality experiences are just the start. Anyway, that's it from me from now. If you do like what you see, remember to give it a thumbs up and you might also consider subscribing. Thank you for watching to the end and I'll catch you in the next one.